pitied, either alive or dead. Adam, you asked me how I felt when I found out and I told you. You have unfinished business in this world. Things that you've only just begun to accept about yourself. Things concerning your family. And I began to see some regret in your eyes. What do you think? I'm turning into some kind of sentimental sap. No, of course, no. But you're also not a cold-hearted ogre who would want to profit from a faulty heart valve. You and I have one very strong passion in common. Our families. And I know the pain you're going through over Stuart's death. And what I see is that you are genuinely trying to live up to all that Stuart represented for you and your family. Well, I, I will admit that uh, there are a few things that I'm, I'm reevaluating in my life. Good. But that brings us back to you and me. Erica, where do we stand? The one thing that is certain between you and me, Adam, is that you will never know what's really on my mind. <clears throat> Colby. I need to speak to my father. Alone. It's all right. I, I really was just on my way out. Uh, yeah, but please don't uh, stay. You can use my study to handle your business calls. All right. I don't appreciate rude behavior like that. I just that overheard gentleman. Mom and Jake Martin talking at the hospital. Was he really supposed to be my father? What did Liza tell you? She doesn't know I heard anything. Neither does Jake. Everything she's ever told me about you... It's true, isn't it? No, you don't understand. For years, I blamed her. I was so sure no one could possibly be as cruel as she said you were. And no matter what you did, I've always told myself, you're my father. Yes, oh yes, I am your father. Because you what, broke into a sperm bank? Sweetheart, you have to understand the complexity, the circumstances of what was going on there then. What circumstances? You had to be in control, just like always, and I was a tool to help you get what you wanted. So you made sure you ended up being my father instead of Jake. You wanted control over her, and you used me to do it. See, I can't afford to get attached to another child and then lose it. No, Jake, this is my last chance to make up for all those mistakes that I've made with Colby. I am going to give this child the love that it deserves and not use it as some sick game between two people. Look, look, if we do this thing, and trust me, I've had my reservations, but if we do this thing, baby is yours. Yours. Period. Okay, promise me. I promise. Jake, I am warning you. If you try to trick me, as far as we have come, I will make sure that you not only lose this baby, but you will lose Amanda, too. You know, Tad is healing right now, and not only from getting shot in the head. I didn't come by here to try to steal Tad's heart back, Opal. I just came by to talk to him. You have every right to trash me. Especially after what I did to Tad. I made a major mistake with David. No excuses. The only finger I'm pointing is in the mirror. I know I'm not much to be proud of. But there is some good left in me. And a lot of that is because of Tad. And what he gave me. Before we were parents or partners or husband and wife, he was my friend, and I need that friend tonight. Hi. Hey. Well, Ben.
You need to consider what we talked about. I did. You got my answer. How's Ian? He's doing all right. I'm on my way to see him. But I had to see you first. I need to know, Zach. Did you kill Stuart? Come on in, come on in. So, is this, this, this it's true, right? Uh, you and David, are, you, you know, you're really good foot put, or is this as in everybody's still in a relationship, take one big step forward, I, not so fast, Crystal. <laughs> it's, it's really over. Ah. Sonny, where are you going to stay? I haven't even gone that far yet. Well, I have, baby. You're staying here. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Listen, that's that's not why I came here tonight. Ted, Ted. we have been down this road before. You know, she swears she has given up Dr. D, and then she's back by his side quicker than you can say Jack Robinson. She's right. You know, I don't blame you for, you know, taking this into consideration, considering my track record. Would you two cut it out? You're giving me a headache. What a couple of cynics. You are outside to see what it's, it's. It's a beautiful spring evening. It's, a, it's an evening to celebrate. You know, what we should do, we should wake up the girls, take them outside. We'll have a picnic, crack open a couple of juice boxes, and we'll toast to your big return. Hey, How's that, listen, huh? Kathy has school tomorrow morning. We are not waking her up. I just barely got her down to begin with. Uh, okay. What about Jenny? Is Jenny all right? <laughs> Come on, Mama. It's a night to party. Dad, I don't think you understand. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Of course I understand. <laughs> You're not back here for me. Leastways, not like that. I mean, I get it. But your daughter's here. And you need a safe place to stay. You know, and despite the fact Mama's going to be running around here giving you that fish eye for 24 hours a <laughs> day, you're going to be safe here. I hope you know that. More than anything, you're safe in my house. I don't care what road life takes us down. You and me are friends. I guess you do understand. Tell me, what is it about me that you hate so much? You want to take my baby. Fair enough. So is that it? Is that the extent of my sins? You hurt people. You like to hurt people. Well, you see, now that's not quite true. I'm no sadist. There's no satisfaction, no pleasure involved. Dr. Statement, Dr. Statement, please. But you're right. You're right. I do hurt people. I remember when I was this boy, I went on this backpacking trip into the forest, and there was some person who had set some coyote traps around. And I remember seeing this one trap that had been sprung with this animal paw severed and in it. The animal had chewed off its own paw just to escape the trap. And I remember thinking, what a horrible, horrible thing to have to do something like that. But as my life went on, I kept finding myself stepping into one trap after the next. And every time I did, I just kept losing something, you know? Another part of myself. And then I finally realized, in this life, you gotta set your own traps before walking into someone else's. <laughs> 